Welcome to the Kimpton Stand. My name is Timmy Hill and I'm chairman of Kimpton Cards. It's been 54 years since Kimpton uh, developed and started running the seven and required the logistic function. And it is now almost six years to the day since the current investors of Corbin Ventures Limited, myself and uh, the current uh, key managers, uh, took over business. And in that period, we have concentrated on the core aspects of the seven, both growth card and uh, including our particular format of So it's a real pleasure to be here today to launch uh, a new product. And in the time that uh, 2010 gave us, uh, which was a good year for us, a very difficult trading times, uh, we have developed a uh, new product. I think it's I think is that better? I think it's uh, an important thing uh, for Keatham as a, a business which is featuring mainly on motorsport as part of road cars to listen to its customers and effectively that is what we've done and we have spent uh, a major part of our motorsport development in recent years with the Keatham Academy. The key part of that is to bring young new drivers into the motorsport uh, fraternity and encourage them to go up our progressive ladder and then go on to other sports uh, in those sports other areas. So, the last 12 months, we have been working very hard with another iconic company in motorsport, Lola Cards. And I would like to introduce their managing director, Robert Brundle, to speak to you now and explain a little bit more about that relationship that we've developed. Robert. Thank you, Tim, and good morning. Let's see if we can get rid of this uh, squeak that we've got. Uh, yes, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to uh, the launch of what is uh, truly a unique car uh, that has been uh, designed and created by two great and British uh, manufacturing and motorsport companies. You'll probably be aware, uh, as Tim has just said, that Caterham has developed a very successful business using one car at its core. By contrast, Lola has, over its 52-year rich history, actually designed, developed and delivered over 300 very successful cars, racing cars. We've been very successful from Formula Ford through to Formula One. And our technical team, as you can imagine, have been very focused at the top end of motorsport for a number of years now. So, when the Caterham team came to us uh, to develop this new product with them, it was a great distraction for our guys and one that they thoroughly enjoyed. Lola has worked with a great deal and continues to work with a great deal of global car manufacturers and again we were particularly pleased when Caterham chose Lola as its design partner. As Tim said, uh, both of our companies are very customer focused and when you see this great car in a moment you'll see that we've listened to the customer base and delivered a car that I'm sure will put a smile on any and every driver's face and that's before they take it out of the pit room. So, in closing, I would like to congratulate Caterham, wish Caterham and their customers every success with this new car and indeed the rest of their business. And I'd like to hand over to the Caterham Managing Director, Mr Ansar Ali, who will go through the technical specification with you. Thank you. Ansar. Thank you, Robin. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know really you want the, the sheets taken off the car, so I'll be as brief as I can. Firstly, it's a sense of great pride for me, representing all my colleagues at Caterham Cars that were unveiling a new, a new car here today. Um, last time my predecessor did this at Caterham Cars was over 15 years ago, and we know that the world has moved on significantly since then. The one thing that has not changed, however, over those 15 years is Caterham's success and its market leadership in its sector of road and race cars. Um, Caterham Cars for, next, for 2010 is going to post record volumes and record profits and that's a sense of great pride for us and it's given us the opportunity to look at capitalising on other sectors and as a result we identified an opportunity for Caterham in the race and track day market 
when we were identifying what sort of Caterham DNA this product needed to have, it had to be a high performance car. It had to be reliable. It had to be engaging and a thrilling car to drive. And most of all, it had to be value for money. In achieving this quest, we chose another iconic partner, Lola Sports Cars. You heard from Robin a bit earlier on. And the combination of Caterham Cars and Lola has developed, de delivered a result that I think in a minute you will, you will see and agree with me is a strikingly breathtaking car, high performance. Uh, it has an all-inclusive specification in the price and the price is £60,000 plus tax. So I would like to present to you the new Caterham Lola SP300R. this point we should have C-list pop stars coming on the stage and dancing um, but a bit like the government we too have budget constraints so I'm afraid you'll have to put up with me for another couple of minutes um, so let me now just take you briefly around the car um, clearly this is not a road car um, this is a focused race and track car but let me take you through the bodywork to begin with the design of the car is aerodynamically rather than aesthetically designed and we've managed to achieve that thanks to Lola's technical expertise and using their computational fluid dynamics technology and software. Um, it's delivered a broad-based platform that delivers outstanding downforce and the balance of the car can be further tuned thanks to the ducts and the dive planes that you see here on either side of the car. Forgive me, I'm going to walk around. Uh, further parts of the, of the bodywork design, you can see it's got an F1, Formula 1 style raised nose and a subtlety, it has almost a 7S grille at the front, an aperture, which was very important to have that catering DNA. The other part of the body that is very important from a catering perspective, although it is not seen on the show car, but it will be on the production, is the car will have seven body panels. The reason it has, will have seven body panels, which is consistent with the catering DNA, we want the car to be a low maintenance, easy maintenance, low cost car, uh, and most important of all, that it allows for single-handed panel removals trackside for the track day enthusiast uh, on the track day. Uh, the beating heart of the car, of the car, is a two-liter Ford forcing induction, delivering 300 brake horse per ton. Uh, sorry, delivering 300 brake horses. Um, uh, and, and linked to, the, to that is a Hewland FTR transmission. So it reinforces the performance and the re reliability of the car. Um, at, it will weigh in at around 545 kilos without the driver. So th with 300 brake per horse, uh, we estimate it calculates to be about 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. And maximum speed, it will be in excess of 180 miles an hour. Um, moving on, the drive experience of the car will be both direct and rewarding and that is thanks to the Lola inspired aluminium uh, honeycomb monocoque chassis. That is a first for Caterham to have a monocoque chassis um, and not only that, it will have a, a, a F3 race suspension on the rear. Uh, it has fr front and rear wishbones, both upper and lower, together with pushrod damp dampers and adjustable springs. It also has F Formula 3 wheels and tyres, so it, it, it says everything about performance. Safety is paramount for us at Caterham Cars, but, and particularly with, for our motorsport and our motorsport customers. As a result, the SP300R has been designed to meet the stringent MSA regulations. Uh, and that includes the twin roll hoops and the chassis. 
In keeping with the SB300 art as being, I hope you'll agree, a premium product, we've chosen components and suppliers uh, at the top end of motorsport. Uh, not only Lola, but for example, it has a Momo steering wheel with a fully integrated data display. It has ATS forged wheels. Uh, it ha will have AP race braking system. It will have a Schroth race harnesses. And it will also have a Petzl engine and gearbox management system that will also have the facility for push to pass. This is all inclusive within the basic spec. Um, probably most important of all that this is a motorsport product and Caterham Motorsport has a rich history and therefore we will be launching a single make championship for the SB300R in 2012. That together with our track day customers both domestic and abroad we are very confident in the knowledge that there will be significant demand for this car. That said we want to stay true to the Caterham's philosophy of keeping it exclusive and also having a thought of residual values and value for money. As a result, production will be in the region of around 25 units a year. So on that basis, we are confident that demand will significantly exceed supply. So on that happy note, I want to tell everybody and remind everybody that the order book for the SP300R is now open because that's what it's all about. And I hope you enjoy the car and have a good day at the Orchestra. Thank you very much.